Here now to tell us what it takes for a one-liner or a two-liner to make us laugh and not go, oh, awful, cringe, Fox Across America host Jimmy Fallon and comedian Michael Loftus. Hey, there it is. They get in their own head, and you can tell they're trying to remember <laughs> yeah, yeah. this <laughs> crap-tastic line that like, somebody came up with. If you have a canned line, right, but it's a legit good joke, the key is... You only tell it if there's a perfect moment to insert it into the conversation. Yes. Where they go wrong, it's one of my fav favorite flops of all time. When Pence was debating Tim Kaine in 2016, Tim Kaine, knowing Trump hosted The Apprentice, had a canned line. He goes, America doesn't need a president who says you're fired. They need a president who says you're hired. And it died <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> and Pence, to his credit, goes, you and your running mates, like a lot of them pre-did lines. And it hurts. <laughs> So bad. You gotta wait for the shot. It's a, but they can't. They, they can't, can't yeah. help themselves. They got their finger right over the button. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna say this to <laughs> Nikki Haley. Nikki yep. Haley, policy fairly. <laughs> <laughs> like how rehearsed was Christy saying chat GPT? Oh yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for God. So it's like chat GPT, because he knew it was trendy. Oh, like yeah. you'll know how you know it's canned when someone invokes Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey tonight. Someone's gonna do it because it's trendy. And they get to try to look hip. And when that comes flying out, you're not going to hear them talking. That's 33 strategists talking. So you, and I've been on the debate stage, and you can remember some lines, and you're right, you got to deliver them well. But there's a lot of moments that just come up that you actually can respond to. If you're and, witty. If you're witty, and, and a lot of people aren't witty. Some are. Uh, Vivekram Swami, when he responded to the chat GBT, is like, okay, Chris Christie, you won the election for. Uh, for yeah. Barack Obama, give him a big hug. Give me a big hug, <laughs> oh, brother, which was, yeah. which I think was that was comeback. somewhat spontaneous. Right. Comebacks win. When you talk about breakout moments, they say there's a breakout moment in the debate. It's because you didn't expect it. It's because somebody yeah. made a play. Yeah. There was an opportunity to go off the grid and, and pull in this good moment. That's the key. It's the, it's the big conundrum because uh, people want authenticity. Right? And when Trump was out there just zinging just, yeah. left and right, that's his wheelhouse, yes. right? Because you'd be in jail. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When other people try to take on that persona, it just doesn't work. They, it's too big of a wind-up, they, and then they let loose with their zinger before they were attacked that's in the vibe. The As a stand-up, it's yeah. the worst feeling. Someone in the audience says something, but the rest of the audience doesn't hear it. Yep. So you come over the top like, hey, do I come to and you work and, and knock the cheeseburgers out of your hand? And the rest of the audience is like, wow, he's being mean to me. Yeah, <laughs> like, this guy snapped on the bachelorette party. <laughs> so we, but, so I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> so are you saying the punch back, right? The response it's is actually the, the moment that you can actually be original and thoughtful and, and, and if, funny. Yes, yes. even if you have a pre-prepared line. Like when Reagan famously gutted Mondale. Yeah. We're not going to make age an issue in this campaign. I'm going to use my opponent's youth and inexperience against him. He knew he was going to say yeah. that. Yeah. But he waited for the question to come up. What a lot of these guys do wrong is like, oh, there's a great line. Let's do it first. <laughs> yeah. Which Good. is listening. Yes. They what was don't that? listen. <laughs> hey. Well, this, they don't listen. <laughs> she, she actually repeated it. <laughs> Good for you. Comics are the worst. Why do you It's true. Us? I don't know we why. We show up. We don't have sneakers well, with laces. I, I know. <laughs> they cut away. They, <laughs> they show the wide shot. They're like, we gotta go. But they don't listen. No, they like, don't. It was what Kilme said, and we've got like 15 seconds, but he said, why did Tim Scott not pound Vivek Ramaswamy for saying everybody here is bought and paid? Well, they're all going to pound tonight because the fundraising's drying up. If the needle doesn't move, you're going to see some real housewife stuff. Yes. And there it, will be I, a lot of backstabbing. And yeah. it, the, the one-line responses are what gets played after the debate. Loftus, Fela, thank you for joining us.